Hello, it's time for Uncle Jeff's Easy Peasy English. And today I want to talk about the future perfect. We use the future perfect to talk about an action that finishes before a time in the future. So you already know how to make the present perfect. We are here now. Example, I have eaten my breakfast sometime before now. The action is finished. The same idea is the past perfect, an action that happened before a time in the past. Think of 11 o'clock yesterday. I had eaten my breakfast before 11. Okay, the same idea. Think about the future. Looking into the future, a sentence, please, about my breakfast by 11 o'clock tomorrow. What do you think? What can you say about breakfast tomorrow? So, to make it future perfect, you need will plus have plus the past participle, the third form. So the sentence is, I will have eaten my breakfast by 11 o'clock tomorrow. So to recap, present perfect have plus the past participle, the third form. Past perfect had plus the past participle. Logically then, for the future perfect, because it's into the future, you need will, you need the verb to have, after will, it's always infinitive, so have, will, plus have, plus the past participle, the third form. So, I will have eaten my breakfast by 11 o'clock tomorrow. I will have finished my studies in five years. I will have paid for my car in two years from now. Future perfect, will plus have plus the past participle, the third form. English grammar, the future perfect, easy peasy. We'll see you next time on Uncle Jeff's Easy Peasy English. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.